going into college and I know that's going to be a very difficult transition and I know that the, the experience that I will receive in, um, in Poland will help me even if it's like the suffering because even the suffering that we experience as pilgrims it helps you to um, it helps you to be to appreciate more what you have like food and um, your comfort but I I want to come out with something with an experience closer that I may be closer with God and that he may help me throughout my years in college with all the temptation and being in the world when cares increase in my heart your console every time that I go to a pilgrimage you know it's a different experience uh, Australia Spain a Brazil. Each time it was perfect, you know, that each time I went and each time I converted. I went back, you know, and I suffered a little bit more and I suffered a little bit more, but it came back to, you know, remind me that, you know, this is, that, that the church is where the life is, that, um. Be a stronghold. The Lord will be a stronghold. Uh, what I want from this pilgrimage I've been to a couple pilgrimages before and they, they touch me you know, spiritually but this time it's a little bit more important to me because right now I'm, a, I'm an itinerant a missionary for the church. About a year ago I became an itinerant and I've seen so much how the Lord has blessed me. I've seen how uh, He's interfered in my life in a really profound way that I could have never imagine. Um, I was in drugs, I was in alcohol, you know, I had, I had a girlfriend, I had all of that. But at the end all I found was death. You know, spiritual death. And once I became a missionary, I found myself kind of with Christ, me and myself in Christ. You know, and going to this pilgrimage for me, um, it's to to discern my vocation. You know, to see if maybe this itinerancy will lead me maybe to uh, to do this the rest of my life, or to the priesthood, or maybe to marriage. experiences there and, and having encounters with other people from other countries can like help me see like that the, sometimes the suffering and struggles that I have in my own life aren't like as drastic or as ample as I think that they are but and other like I don't know listening to what the Pope says and being with my community and with other people that are doing the same thing as me that I won't be home and like I don't know doing other stuff like world and stuff it can help me and I think it can change my life because then I'll see things differently. Like, how, like the secret to being humble, you know, because I feel like humility is uh, is difficult to be humble, to be uh, to not say anything, just to shut up. You know, you get yelled at and you just shut up. And people, you know, it's difficult. You always want to fight back. You know, you want to defend yourself, and I find myself always like that. Like, someone yells at me, and I want to defend myself because I see that, you know, I need, it's me, I need to defend myself. But I see, you know, you see it with his life that, you know, he's very, very simple, and he doesn't defend himself, and he's humble. And like that, you know, it, I feel, it would make life easier, I feel, that you don't defend yourself, that you're just in common, you accept the, you accept the ridicule, that you accept the humiliation, and just with, with ease and with peace, knowing that, you know, it'll either make you a better person or that we've come. Oh,